the debate on tapering and the timing of tapering uh, continue and with regards to the broader global policy picture starting to develop, then I think we are going to see these uh, periods of uh, volatility. Mm -hmm. But I think overall, the longer term view for the dollar is still very positive. So, so th this, this move didn't spook you guys? No, I believe it's still very much a, a short-term corrective uh, move. It may last for a little bit longer. We may see it extending over the course of the, the coming days, but I think that's going to provide some renewed opportunities to look at some longer-term bullish dollar strategies. What are your expectations for the GDP print on Monday, and how would a sub-7% number affect the dynamic in FX? Yes, the, uh, the market is, I think, fairly well prepared now for a, a slowdown in in Chinese uh, in growth and the market I think is now starting to look at those kind of 7% numbers. I think that is starting to form the, the, the consensus. A sub 7% I think would be a bit of a shock to FX markets initially. I think that would lead to maybe another sort of risk off position unwinding uh, scenario. But again, I think we're likely to see that to be very much a temporary move. And the market is now focusing back onto the US as the as the, really very much the leader of growth within the, G, within the G10 particularly, but uh, more globally as well. So a Chinese slowdown, I think, is to some extent is now being offset by the prospects of the, the U.S. recovery. Quick, quick word on the euro, uh, and, and back to your point on central banks. Um, you remain bearish to euro. Is that to do with the ECB and the, the, the currency being used as a monetary policy tool, if you like, or is it more the, the macro picture uh, Portugal, Italy, Spain, Ireland? Yeah, I think certainly the, those uh, continued issues at the, the periphery of Europe are going to remain and they're still going to, I think, weigh on the euro over the, over the longer term. But certainly the near-term focus is going to be very much on policy. I think that is going to be the factor which really starts to put the euro back under pressure once again. And the fact that we've now seen this renewed dovish stance coming from the ECB, the fact that they are starting to introduce some kind of forward guidance. I think that is going to put the, uh, the euro under pressure. And again, with the Bank of England, we're seeing a very similar picture yep. developing as well. And we would expect sterling to react in a similar fashion, again, to start to come under, under pressure, reacting to that forward guidance.